Hi everyone, my name is Sindrine De Hero and I am the Equality Officer. So as part of our Equality Week, I am now joined by Gareth. If you could just give us a brief introduction about yourself. Hi everyone, my name is Gareth Bryn. I am a Master's in Technical Communication and E-Learning student here at UL. I have already completed my undergrad here at UL. Um, so this will be my fifth year here. Um, I am a gay man um, here to talk about what it's like to be queer in third level education. Perfect. Thank you so much for the introduction. So the first question is, what is it like being a queer representative in your well student life? You know, this began um, over the summer when I saw a call was put out looking for people of all backgrounds like sexuality, gender, race, um, and even as far as commuter versus on-campus students. Um, so the community officer Chelsea Joyce put out that call um, for volunteers to help her understand the community because this is the first time a communities officer has been a part of UL student life. So I jumped on board because I felt like I ticked at least two of those boxes being uh, part of the queer community and a commuter student. Um, well, not anymore, but I was a commuter student. Um, so I felt it was important for me to put in my voice. Um, I don't know if I'm the only queer person on this little committee that we have going, but I think it's important to have a voice at least from every member of the community. And I just um, I just give my input suggestions. It's mostly an advisory role, but I think it's important to even have those people to put in those advice, um, those, yeah, those suggestions, advice to um, the student officers, um, just so they get the whole picture. Because um, often, like, like, as a white man, I might not always understand, um, like, the black community, like, straight people don't always understand the queer community. So it's important to have people there to kind of guide you in the right direction um so i think it's important to have but overall not even in just ul student life i think in the university in general it's um good to have people from minority backgrounds um different cultural backgrounds at every single level throughout um because that's the only way you're going to make change like ireland has gone incredibly diverse um we're no longer just a white nation no longer just a straight nation mm -hmm. like we have all these wonderful people, cultures, and I think it's important now, especially in third level education, um, try and integrate those as much as humanly possible into all the different levels where we can, um, just because like we're here now, <laughs> like we're not going anywhere. Like that's the thing, um, like we're no longer like the other, like we are your uncle, your aunt, your cousin, your brother, your colleague, like there's just, mm -hmm. we're part of um, Irish society as much as the next person. Um, so I think it's important now to have those voices at every single level in third level education. So that's um, regarding like myself, I'm like, I'm just happy to be there, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just happy to be involved. <laughs> yeah, no, and I think you made up a really good um, explanation in regards to the changing nature of Irishness and the changing nature of the Irish identity, because I think that's something that even teaching sociology now, when we're looking at what it meant to be Irish, like in the past, to be Irish, it was to be white, heterosexual and Catholic. And, you know, and it's like we're both, both of us break that barrier and we're both Irish. So it really does show that changing nature and like as you said it's always changing so like you know even Irishness in the next 20 years is going to be completely different from the way we see it now so then this kind of moves me back then to the second question which um just looks at what do modern representation of the word queer mean to you so queer is one of the most subjective words that I have come across. You ask me, I give you one definition, you ask another queer person, they give you a different definition. I view it as a label. I don't like, it's no longer, it used to be a derogatory term and then queer community reclaimed that. And I see it as a very valid label because I'm not the biggest fan of labels in the first place, but queer like is such an umbrella term now, like that I feel that it can be used as a label just for those who know that they're not heterosexual or for those who know that they don't conform to the gender norms of society. And I think it's a very nice term just to, look, I don't know fully yet, but I know I'm part of 
that community now. Mm -hmm. Um, So I think it's, uh, for me, the term queer is a really nice label for those who know that they're part of the LGBTQ spectrum, but they just don't know where yet. And Mm -hmm. if they don't know, they don't know. And that's perfectly okay as well. I think as a society, we have to accept now that like, yeah, we have the acronym LGBT, but like we also have to accept now that like, I don't know, it's just equally as valid answer. Mm -hmm. Like if somebody like says like, oh, like, oh, I'm dating a man. Oh, you must be gay. And if they go, no, I don't really know. I'm just kind of happy at the moment with this particular individual. I think we just have to kind of just accept that now. Um, So I think the term queer, like, but I've seen debates on Twitter about how the term queer shouldn't be used um, and that it should be kind of stick to more uh, specific labels. I don't necessarily agree with that. I think it's just however you want to use it, you use it. Like our whole community is based on like ignoring the norms anyway. So why are we trying to put in these norms within our own community? Um, and so the term queer for me is subjective, but on my own personal level, I see it as a very just valid label of identifying yourself and just using it like you can use it as a transition term between two other, like um, like when you're trying to just figure it out yourself. Um, So that's what it means to me. It's just a nice label, I think, for those who don't really understand their identity in full yet. (laughs) Yeah, no, definitely. And I think you're so right because, like, yeah, like, your definition of it is different from other people I've talked to. So, again, like, as you're saying, like, there's no one strict definition. And I think there's a really important thing about that whole sense of, oh, I don't know, I just want to be happy. That really needs to be accepted as well. So that really nicely moves into our next question, which is, do you think that campuses across Ireland are becoming more inclusive when it comes to queer representations? I think that they, I think terrible educations as um, a social space is definitely getting more accepting and queer identities are becoming more easily seen within these spaces definitely in the social sphere I don't think there's as much hush around queer identities anymore um but I think overall there still needs to be a massive overhaul of these curriculums especially in arts humanities and social sciences there needs to be we're still relying on these like the individual teacher to teach queer topics like where there's no um like when you look at the compulsory like classes within any of the disciplines especially in the HSS it's really down to the individual teacher with what gets taught and often enough like you see it like often like these whole like these studies just that were like revolved around like minority cultures um in Ireland are often electives rather than um compulsory or core modules and I think there needs to be more discussion and just a revising of the core curriculum because like I was thinking about it today and I was there going it's great that like even if you bring them in as like say there was if you're studying literature and there was an elective that just said queer literature like realistically there's going to be two types of people who take that class the queer community who want to learn more about uh, queer literature and then probably like what one in every like heterosexual cisgendered person will take that class to learn about it like and I was thinking about it it's like it's great say if just for arguments like one out of ten take that class when they're not part of the community but like that still leaves nine others that are still not taking the class I think instead of like as much as like I really do like think that they should be their own classes. I think you need to build in queer studies into like the classes that everybody takes. Like if you take a modernism class, there should be a queer text on that class. If you take a theory class, queer theory should be taught. Um, And it should be a significant part of that. I think we need to definitely in third level teaching, there needs to be, yeah, just a revision of how we teach these subjects and And then regarding like faculty, I think there needs to be more transparency as much as humanly possible. I'm not saying drag anybody out of the closet, but I think there needs to be more transparency on queer lives within not just the student body, but the faculty body as well. Um, 
I think there needs to be more pride shown in the queer faculty as well because like I've had discussions in the past about transparency and I think it like I had one lecture as far as I know that was queer that that I know of and for me that was just a breath of fresh air to see somebody like me standing up at the top of that lecture hall giving the class and I think it would make the reporting of like stuff like hate crime and discrimination a lot easier for those students if they know like oh there's this counselor um in whatever university they're queer I can request can I go to them because they will understand because I think a lot of the time students they just want to be understood and they're afraid that if they go to somebody that they will not understand their problem or they're, they're just general concerns so I think if there's more transparency about and about who is queer among the faculty I think that would really encourage students to speak up and go like about their concerns or whatever but even at that like if you look at a college and you know like if you're going to say to do English in any college and you see oh they have a queer lecturer who teaches these topics or whatever you like you could be swayed to go to that college as well like I think it's it's just as advantageous to the students as it is to the universities to um be more transparent about who's queer and like to support queer matters as well like by putting up like happy pride month even like if you see one college celebrating pride and doing events for pride over another college like certain students will feel more compelled to go to that college like it's it's about fostering I think it's all about normalizing it and I think if you normalize it at a faculty level then it'll become normalized at a student level as well <laughs> Yeah, no, definitely. And I think I like your take on, on it, like in regards to um, having queer matters being taught throughout different streams of mediums. And I think it goes really deep into like that sense of representation really matters. And as you stated, like intersectionality, like, you know, like, especially I think I see it in literature where exactly like if you are doing theory, like why not do queer theory? And again, normalize it that it's for all students as opposed to it being an elective because again like it is things that are happening to our society and as you stated the more normalized it is then the less taboo it's going to be and the less um, excluded people are really going to feel in regards to that so then just the last question then it's just in regards to what does equality mean to you um equality means so many things but in regards to the queer community I think in the general population, like it was amazing that Ireland was the first country, as far as I know, um, to bring in uh, marriage equality by referendum rather than just through the, um, the government making it law. But I think a lot of people, and like I have these conversations just with like friends or family, and it's just they believe like, oh, you have marriage equality. That's it. It's all over. Uh, we're all happy and that's just not the truth there's like like I always say like to myself like I like I wake up every day and like I know that like somewhere in the world like a queer person's being discriminated against there's like violent acts like queer people are dying and I don't need to like look that up on my phone I don't need a newspaper to report that to me because I know that's happening somewhere but within the Irish context I think we just need to give more support to queer people like there's like so many queer people that are like even afraid to like announce their like not announce but like to talk about their sexuality in the workplace for fear that there's like that passive discrimination or they might not just even get the job if they mention it at the interview stage and it's the same like I know that like it's a thing that certain women like would take off like their wedding ring once they go into an interview because um, of the like the whole passive discrimination that they believe that like oh she'll be having children soon so what's the point in hiring her so like there's all these small little things that I think we need to do better on and for me I think equality mean equality means just like knowing that like when I go out the front door like that nothing's going to happen on the basis of my sexuality that that like that's what it means for me like going down the road 
with my partner and it's just knowing that we can just be ourselves without fear of anything happening there's always that constant like feeling of having to look over your shoulder and I think once the day that I wake up and can walk out the front door without having the fear of looking over my shoulder both metaphorically and actually then like I think that's when we'll achieve equality but we can only do that through education I think if like there's such a great opportunity now with COVID I think like the junior cert got cancelled so like I think this is a great opportunity for like those teachers to bring in non-curricular tech subjects classes and teach kids that the things that they really need to learn like about the LGBTQ community about the black and Irish community like about ableism like all these different issues that they will just not learn from the standard curriculum I think there's such a great opportunity there and I hope there are some teachers that are taking advantage of that because it's like we have to start a primary school that's the reality of it when children are their most impressionable and work our way up from there but even now I just believe education is the way to achieving that but no definitely for me in summary equality is just hoping that someday um a queer person will wake up even if it's in a few generations time uh, and will not have that like little bit of a voice in the back of your head telling you to be careful once you walk outside that front door <laughs> yeah no and I think you've captured that beautifully and again that is the harrowing and harsh reality of that as you say to like just on the virtue of you being a human being you should just be able to walk out and not be feeling fear um being fearful of anything happening to you I think like you've made a excellent point in regards to it all starts with education and I'm always like a firm believer of that like as you say if you get people at the young impressionable age that it's just going to be such a normalized topic that you know like even in our generation now it's still a taboo topic and just by normalizing it and making sure that every spectrum of society every medium every place that Mm -hmm. representation is there and like that's really how we achieve Mm -hmm. equality so thank you so much gareth for joining us today and for giving us more information (laughs) on your role as a queer representative Mm -hmm. in Mm -hmm. students life thank you Mm -hmm.